Hi everyone, it's Miss Rogers and this week we are going to be learning about capacity. And capacity is the amount that something can hold, a container can hold. And so I hope you enjoy this story and it'll give you a little bit of introduction to what capacity is. Okay, let's go. Have you ever played with damp sand, packed it into a pail, and made a sand castle? Why does the sand take the shape of the pail? A water bottle, a jar, a thimble, a cup, and a pail are all containers. Containers hold things. Inside a container, there is a space. The space inside a container can hold solids, liquids, or just air. Here are some containers. If you filled each of them with water, can you guess which one will hold the most and which will hold the least? It is sometimes easy to guess which containers will hold the most water when they are different sizes. It is much more difficult to guess when the containers almost look the same. Guessing can be difficult. Which of these two containers holds the most? We must measure to find out. Pour water from the pitcher into the dish. What does that tell you? Now collect some empty containers. Can you tell which one will hold the most water and which will hold the least? We do not have to use water. We can use sand or marbles instead. The sand fills all the space in the glass. Do the marbles fill all the space? You're right, I can see a little bit of space there. Standard measures are important. Those are like the ones that we have on measuring cups and teaspoons. The ingredients for a cake have to be mixed in the right quantities. Garden fertilizers have to be carefully measured. Medicines must be measured carefully when they are made or when we take them. Standard measures help us to measure exactly. When a bus, or when a driver, sorry, buys a ga gallon or a liter of gasoline, she knows exactly how much she will get whenever she buys it. The gasoline runs from the pump into the car's gas tank. When the tank is full, it will hold no more gas. Capacity is the word used to describe the most that a container can hold. Some containers are very large. This tanker holds many gallons or liters. These drums hold chemicals. Which container has a greater capacity, a tanker or a drum? You're right, it's the tanker. Being able to measure capacity is important. What might happen to this ship if too much coal was loaded onto it? Uh oh, you're right, it might sink. What might happen to this reservoir if too much water went into it? Oh, some of those homes are very close to the water. They might flood. Capacity is not the same as weight. The pasta fills the jar and so does the water. Which do you think is heavier? Capacity is a word we use to describe space, even when the space is empty. So if your container has things in it or your container doesn't have things in it, it still has the same amount of capacity. I hope you have a good time reading this story and I will see you later.